Hello, Dr. Glenn, resident vet for Vet and Pet Direct, talking today about how to examine your dog for paralysis ticks or ticks. Um, Mr. Bo here is a very enthusiastic um, helper today, but basically if you're in a paralysis tick area, if you're in a brown dog tick area that um, Australia has now unfortunately got ehrlichiosis um, as a disease, um, daily tick checks are very important. Our um, tick products that we have these days um, are very effective, but you should still be checking your dog daily. Most ticks get on the front end of the dog, so 90% are from the shoulders forward and the, on the head and neck. So basically starting at the face, um, I you just use a um, gentle, calm, um, systematic fingers backwards and forwards technique. Um, depending on the length of the hair on the dog, um, it makes it a little bit more difficult, but if you wiggle your fingers back and forwards through the hair. I find that's the most effective way to feel ticks. Certainly ticks can be anywhere on the body. You need to thoroughly examine inside and outside of the ears, um, all the little nooks and crannies down in the ears themselves. There's a little false pocket back here on the outside of each ear. There's a little pocket there. I've seen paralysis sticks in there. So that's an important place to check. But basically, um, systematically going over the whole dog, removing collars is very important because there's been many ticks that have been not found because they've been underneath collars. But basically this way, just moving your fingers backwards and forwards through the coat and get a pattern, get a, um, a, a way that you do it that effectively covers the whole body. Underneath the armpits is really important. Backwards and forwards down the legs, there's a little ulna pouch, just here a little pocket in there where they can get definitely down in between the toes, which is more of a, a visual thing um, in the webbing between each toe. Uh, little ticks can get in all of those little spots. Um, brown dog ticks certainly like the ears. Um, paralysis ticks, again, tend to be towards the front of the body, but they can be anywhere. Moving down the trunk, just that, again, that systematic backwards and forwards through the coat. Obviously double checking if you feel any little lumps anywhere. Right down through the back legs, around the genitals, the vulva. They can get right next to the anus, so that's a spot to check. Um, on the head, you really should be checking lips, potentially like on the inside of the gums there. You've seen photos of ticks on gum lines and that sort of thing. Look, it can happen, but it's not very common. It's a little um, lip fold there, which is a pretty common spot. Um, definitely the eyelids is a, is a spot where you can see them. And, and even though you think that there's not much hair there, you can have a little paralysis stick in these little nooks and crannies. So um, very important to visually look around the eyes, but also feeling for any lumps. They've got these little whisker lumps up here, um, which are a normal part of the anatomy. They've got a little lump here, which is a little um, big long hair follicles. Um, there's little lumps there, but basically all the nooks and crannies and that finger action really picks up ticks um, that are otherwise difficult to find. I hope that helps guys. Thank you Bo.